Fucking <laughs> Shabroom guys, <laughs> get out of my kid in the middle here. Also said it, because we're all shot. Hey guys, today is a Tuesday. Now we've already trained chess, but we're now going into a loading session. Uh, basically, Britain's Strongest Man is in 11 days, so I've got the Stoltmans down with me for the week. Doing lots of training, lots of recovery, lots of eating, and uh, other shenanigans. We'll talk about them. Now, the implements are duck walk, barrel, two barrels, sandbag, and a tyre. We've got everything here. We're doing weights. We're doing about 75, 80% of what it is on comp day. So we're gonna be hitting, I think it's about 175 kilo duck walk in the hands. Mm -hmm. uh, the keg is 85, sack's about 90, and then the tyre just weighed at 90. So uh, everything's you know a good percentage down because we don't want to be doing the comp weight. It's all about just getting the motions, getting that speed up, and I think we'll time each other and uh, have a little competition. I think more than likely just between me and you. Really. Probably, I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. Let's get stuck in. Don't blink. Okay, so we like athletes take positions. Athletes ready. Ready, go. Yeah, do the same for everyone. That's, Darren, that's what Darren does. So, are we ready? Go! Right. Go on. Go on. Good to come on. Good to So event training was just like this. I get me and my training partner would set events up and I would usually give him a handicap. So usually like, you know, if we did five implements, let's say I gave him five seconds off whatever time he did, and that would just give me something to sort of aim for. So if he did 40 seconds, I would try and do my implements and say 35. And then that, like, if I didn't do it, if I did 36, then technically, because of the handicap, he would beat me. So that was a good way of training. Just make, it's always good to have someone to do events with you, with you. If you're not doing it with somebody, it's really tough to like train and improve on loading events. And it's all the, all the time's made up, not in the running, but in how you manipulate the kit, you know, how you pick it up quick, get it to your chest. And so, it's how quick you pick it up and can get going. Because the speed in which you run, I mean, bar Tom, it's pretty much the same for everybody. You know, everyone runs at sort of the same pace. Where it's one is how fast you can pick the implement up from the dead stop and get going. How did you kind of work it into your training? Did you do it once or twice a week? Did you do five rounds, three rounds? So loading for me would have been oh, at least once a week. And I'd perhaps just do three or four runs. And again, you know, I time against my training partner. And every week I'm always trying to beat that time, whether it be by 0.1 of a second. As long as I was seen to be improving every week, that would tell me I'm doing something right, you know, little tweaks like how to pick the barrel up a bit quicker, get the sandbag to your chest a bit quicker, get that tire on your shoulder a bit quicker. That's where you win these kind of events. And I found I took a lot of sort of a Strongman's a lot of copy and pasting. You know, if you're bad in an event, find someone who is the best at the world at that event and copy them. Uh, for instance, Yoke. I used to be terrible at Yoke, and the best person in the, in the world at Yoke at the time was Lawrence Shalai. So I just watched videos of him in slow motion picking up the Yoke, running with the Yoke, and that would tell me how to pick it up, how to position your hips, your legs, what sort of length strides to take. And it's the same with this, really. If you were to say watch Tom in slow motion on these events, you would see how he would manipulate these bits of kit so effectively. So a normal person would pick a barrel up like this. They'd tip it, just put the hand under, they would lift it, and then they'd go. Someone like Tom, because he's just got that such huge brute strength, would literally, as he's tipping it, he's already running. So as he's tipping it, he's already going. 
and it's getting into position while she's running. And that's that. That's sort of like, that's the half a second, three quarters of a second. You do that on each implement and you've got a four second lead on everybody else. And it's easily done. I mean, luckily Tom's got that sort of brute, brute strength to just be able to do stuff like that. But if you haven't, you've just got to learn it. You've got to learn, you know, learn how to lift those bits of kit while she's running. That's the secret to it. Ready, go! Really good. Good. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, Luke. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Awesome. 32 seconds. Slap on, man. What did you get? So I got, I got 43. <laughs> but um, I tripped. <laughs> tripped, fell over, nearly died. Still, you know. There you go. Excuses of, uh, for, for, for losers. You want to get everything as, you know, off the ground as quick as you can, but in as effective as you can. So for me, I think I just use my levers as an advantage, you know. So um, as being a tall person, I kind of just use the power like I do for Atlas Stone and get as high up on my chest as I can and then do it. So like, Sandbag, I'll pick up and go while I'm running. Same with the keg, duck walk as well. So, yeah, just try and be as effective and, uh, and go through the motions of it every time, you know what I mean? For me, I, if we're loading as well, like, so I do a lot of uh, just pick ups and training, you know, just to get the perfect pick up, a few steps, drop it, per same again, five or six times. So, do one implement at a time and keep repeating it and then put them all together and do it in a run. So, that's, uh, I've learned it that way. And, for me, it seems to work. So. That was nothing. <laughs> I wanted to beat Luke. <laughs> I had to check the tire and look what happened to their fault. The walls are weak. So. What time did he get? But that's the, this is the thing. I mean, Tom, I, I, I wouldn't be angry at you, mate, really, really, but you didn't even beat Luke. I know, that's what I said. You got one second one last. Second. <laughs> right, that's a wrap on the loading event. I think we did one run each. Um, I think we're honest, mate. We're, we're, we've all we had a heavy day yesterday doing legs. We've done three hours of recovery and then about four hours stretching and hot cold yesterday. So I think as good as recovery is, it does tire you out a lot and it makes it makes you very tired the next day. Luke's actually in a lot of pain there. You can see him limping. Because I won the loading Because he won the loading. And uh, I think Tom going through the wall like juggernaut <laughs> has uh, put a little bit of a damper on the session. So um, that's a wrap. But I think it's very interesting to see the differences between, say, myself and Tom. Uh, I don't know if you managed to get any slow mo stuff, but Tom picking up those the implements like the feathers. And you know, before before the, the implements have even left the floor, he is moving already you know and he's sort of like pulling the kit behind him almost and the kit's catching up with him so it's quite impressive and that that's i mean i was never the quickest loader but that's how i improved and that's how i sort of kept in the top five in the world on the moving events was just by working on the technique side of things which tom's got mastered to be fair i can't can't teach him anything hey guys so that's the the loading session done bit of a brutal one i've wrecked my shin Tom's wrecked the wall, wrecked the wall yeah. uh, but no, it was good, we went through a few techniques on, on kind of picking up, lifting it, but to kind of suss out the best way to pick up the tyre because it's quite sharp on the edges so we obviously don't want to injure our shoulder. So it was just a little bit of kind of brainstorming before we started which was, um, I think it paid off. Um, and again like we said, we were doing kind of 25 metre runs before, so that's been 12 metres, it felt quite comfortable. We weren't, we're out of breath obviously, but the, I don't think the the speed that ever slowed down, which was good. You can see when Tom and I were pretty much the same time, even though I was set a second faster. Anyway, hopefully that will uh, carry on to the Brits. 
Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but no, it was really good. Um, it was great to train with Eddie again. Um, Eddie's very clever, very smart in what he does, um, believe it or not. I know it's quite hard to believe sometimes. But um, no, it was a great session. You happy, Tom? Yeah, happy, yeah. yeah so now we're going to get some recovery done. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to Official Strongman. You've got all your kind of live feeds. Your live, the live feed from Britain's Strongest Man is going to be there. So check it out, subscribe, keep liking the channel, comment, and ring the little bell. Stay spicy. Ding, ding, ding.